Hi, it's me, Rachel Lynn, and today's Financial Friday is a story time. So I had originally wanted to tell this story. I was gonna do like a story time Saturday and I never really got around to posting this video because I was waiting for the final word on everything to come through and it finally did. I just wanted to kind of point out a couple of things and that is one, this was filmed quite a while ago so the background's slightly different because it was before I moved some furniture around. And um, two, I was slightly sick and so I apologize for my voice breaking in and out in this video. Um, it wasn't the best time to be filming, but um, that was pretty much the only chance that I had at that moment. And then I never even actually used the video. So it's like, I guess I could refilm it, but I mean, who has time for that? So um, let's just go ahead and get into my story time. So this is actually a pretty short story, but I had my credit card compromised. Um, I did a video all about how I treat my credit cards. So you can check that video up there. And um, I actually check my credit cards, check the balances. I check all of that at least every Friday. So on one day I was checking all of that information and just to make sure that I had all the money into the bank account that I need to pay all my credit cards from and um, just making sure that everything was good, I noticed a $40 pending charge. It was on my Amazon Prime card. So for my Amazon Prime card, I only use that card for of course Amazon Prime where I get 5% cash back and then also I use it for gas, which I think I get like 2% cash back, so in there. So I was a little bit confused on when I had spent $40, but I looked back at my Money Monday notes and no $40 charge did I make to pay for anything. So because I keep very, very good record of what I spend, when I spend it, and I let you know all of those things, I actually was able to be like, this, this isn't right. I was a little like, maybe I spent something and I didn't realize it, but I called up the number on the back of my Amazon Prime card and I asked them about the charge. They said it was for like school services or something along those lines. It kind of seemed like it was maybe like driver school in like another state, like Illinois, I think. They didn't really have a lot of um, information about it. Now, it was still in pending status because I check everything so often um, I was able to catch it. But when I called Amazon Prime, they were like, well, all we have is that it's educational services. It's like, well, I'm a teacher, so maybe I made some educational services, like some kind of purchase, but no, I have not made any purchases at all. So I told them on the phone, I was like, well, I don't think I made this purchase. I'm pretty sure I didn't. And I wanted, and I even told them, I said, I want to make sure that this is not something that I purchased that I didn't realize I hadn't purchased. You know, I don't want to make a false claim. They deduced that it was probably for driving school in Illinois, but I don't live in Illinois and I don't need driving school. So I just told them on the phone, I said, I don't think I made that purchase. And I, then she asked me if I wanted to cancel the card or if I just wanted to like file a claim on the one um, charge and then not really do anything beyond that. And I said, well, if my card has been compromised once, then who's to say it won't happen again. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel the card and get a new one reissued to me. And so um, she said, okay, we can do that. They immediately canceled my card and they took the pending purchase off of my bill. I think by the time I got home, I was doing this at school. And by the time I got home, I think it was already off of my uh, charge online. Now on the phone she did say you need to destroy your card and well the Amazon Prime card is actually metal. It's a very heavy card and it's metal and I was like how am I going to destroy it because it's metal <laughs> and she she said okay well we can send you an envelope so she sent an envelope I put the card in the envelope and mailed it back to them and then I got a new card in the mail and they took the charge off and that's the end of that like, that's really the end of the story. All right, so that's not quite the end of the story. The end of the story came several weeks later when I finally got a letter in the mail that said that the charge was going to stay permanently deleted from my account. They had done all of their investigating and I guess they decided that I was not liable for that charge at all. So I guess within the few weeks before I got the letter, like eventually that could have been put back and I could have been 
charged that and been liable for the charge, but, um, you know, after the letter, now I cannot be. Because I check my bank accounts, because I check my credit cards, and I keep a very close watch on my budget and what I spend, it was just kind of like, whoa, this came up. I need to deal with this. I dealt with it right away and it was done. It was over with. I couldn't buy anything on Amazon Prime and I couldn't uh, buy uh, my gas at the cash back amount that I would like to when I needed gas until I got my new card. But um, yeah, basically that's it. Now I do have to go on to Amazon Prime and I have to change it for the new number and anything else online if I, I don't really use that card online for anything else. So, um, you know, she said I would need to do all that, but um, you know, I only use it for gas and Amazon Prime. So, and I haven't bought anything on Amazon Prime since I've got my new card. This is a very short story, but it is also a cautionary tale for you. So if you do not keep a close watch on your credit cards or your bank cards or any of those things, do that because you are able to catch it right away and you are able to deal with it right away. And it was a very painless procedure. The only thing I worried about was not having my card for a week and I had to get gas and use a different card. Like that was it. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have ever had a card compromised or identity stolen or anything along those lines. And I would also like to know how you dealt with that, if there were any lasting implications or if you were able to deal with it quickly like I was. Give me a like for being able to deal with it quickly. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I make videos about getting out of my student loan debt and losing some weight along the way. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.